Hey guys, it's Anthony Super Service. I got Chris's truck here, 06 Lariat. Uh, we're gonna get some screens set up here and do a cold start on it. Let me shut this some stuff down. Uh, it's 146,000 miles. Let's turn this down. All right, hang on. Be right back. Okay, guys. Uh, uh, and you start to look let's see if I can turn this down. Um, uh, Screen went kind of dim. All right, 3001. 14 to 140,000 miles. Let me get some more stuff set up. Hang on. Okay, we got a whole bunch of four wheel drive codes. We got a left side blend door circuit failure. Um, I don't even, let's see if it, it locks into four wheel drive. Circuit failure, cylinder failure. A lot of those, we get a whole bunch of failures. Uh, cylinder number four, contribution balance. That's the only one I'm seeing. Yeah, this, this screen needs to brighten up a little bit. All right, hang on just a second. We got, so basically a whole bunch of four-wheel drive crap and uh, number four, contribution balance. All right, hang on. Okay, I just cycled the key again. Right now, initially, is 50, 50 degrees. ICP looks all right. Fickham looks okay. Scroll this down. Uh, what happened? Thumbs up. Hang on. Okay, I pulled some other things up. Not sure how the boost is, but we'll find out. EVP volts is okay. We're going to go ahead and cycle this key and fire it up. And let's take a quick look at these injectors. It is 53 degrees is what it is. Watch the battery volts. On top. Let's see. Watch the Fickham too as I crank it. There's the chatter stopped. Here we go. Fickham volts didn't drop too bad right then. Here we go. Oh, he's right here. Have you seen it? Have you seen it? Number four was the made one. Let's clear this. Shut off the compensation. Look at number two show. Number two and number four. Yeah, you see when these things are this bad though, it turns into uh, kind of a nightmare. Let's shut the compensation off and let them free up. Number two and four, it, it, it's gonna turn into a nightmare because we do number two and number four, and then if there are any other weak ones, you know, we're really not going to see them right now because it's overfueling the hell out of everything trying to pick up number two and four. But two and four are freaking shot. God, I don't know I got all kinds of glare here. Looks like number two and number four, though. I thought at the beginning of the video, if we go back and look, uh, number eight was kind of showing it, showing it a little bit. But we definitely got two and four. Let me go back here real quick and let's see while it's trying to warm up. Victor appears to be okay. Smooths out with compensation on. Didn't take very long to smooth out. But shut off the compensation, this little button over here. There you go, number two and number four just turned to crap. Uh, he hasn't owned the truck very long, so maybe we'll, uh, you know, we need to, we'll check fuel pressure, even though it's not one of the back cylinders, but we'll still check fuel pressure and then possibly blue spring, at least get the blue spring kit in. Uh, not sure what maintenance has been done because he just bought it. So maybe get a baseline for the maintenance. And if the wallet allows it, maybe we ought to go ahead and do the even side injectors. You know, I mean, it's always an option to go ahead and just do the two that are bad. That's absolutely an option. But, you know, I want to definitely give the option also to replace all four of them. Then, you know, those are all good. Uh, we're going to we're gonna let it warm up a little bit. See how they're staying low now. I got the compensation shut off. Or it's, it's compensating for it now and they're still low. Shut it off again and it gets even worse. Yeah, 
guys looking like two and four are uh, pretty bad. Just let it run for a minute, get some temperature. Okay, we've had a little bit, little bit of time here. We got 167, 165 degrees, and hang on, a little low. Let it get up. Four and two are still low. They're still low. I mean, this is a tough one right here because it's very likely that we can uh, replace these two and then have to go back in it because two and four are so bad we can't accurately tell if any of the other ones got hurt because of it. You know, you got to remember number five is over fueling right now trying to pick up for number four. And same with number seven trying to pick up for number two. You know, and, and vice versa, number three and number one are both working. You can see how high number eight is right now. So, you know, that's a, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, I mean, 140,000 miles, who knows what kind of condition. Uh, he, I mean, he hasn't even, the owner of the truck has not even physically gotten the title yet for it. So, you know, if the fuel filters, if, if anything's screwed up on it, well, then it's, it's, I mean, he bought it and drove it straight here. So, you know, it's, uh, I mean, I would honestly throw a full freaking set in it. I mean, if, uh, get a baseline, you can start out and have a, uh, I don't know, but I know we got two of them and number eight was showing low at the beginning of the video just for a little bit. Uh, we're going to check this oil cooler here real quick too. I think I'm going to go for a little drive. I'm going to get a little more temperature and check the oil cooler, see how it is. But yeah, hang on. I did notice too under the hood, the, uh, uh, brake fluid is is low, which with no leaks, low brake fluid means it needs brakes. Uh, the brake brake pedal feels a little spongy. It's it's pretty. Uh, I mean, right there is all the way to the floor. I can push it all the way to the floor, so might have to uh, bleed the brakes and possibly you know do the brakes, get them done. Um, uh, what else is on it? Uh, I don't know. Hang on. There you go. I'm sitting at stoplight, getting ready to. Or just dropped all the way out. Damn. Damn. Shot. I don't know, man, with this graph here. he's going to be an injector hell with this or uh he's probably going to be fighting it until the whole set gets replaced i mean they sold this truck running just like this you know it's kind of freaking sucks but let's see what the oil is look at number one number one is staying low over there i don't know if you can see it looks like Number one, staying pretty low. Number six, damn. Okay, here you go right here. We got extremely borderline oil cooler. 14 degrees, uh, needs a thermostat, obviously. It's a little chilly right now, 177 degrees and 190. So we're 13 degrees is about what it's been riding. Uh, so, you know, we're extremely borderline on the oil cooler. Might have to definitely either keep an eye on it or get the flushing done. And uh, I mean, obviously we, maybe we ought to go ahead and throw a thermostat in it and then go retest and make sure, but I've tried that before. And I've had that before with a cold thermostat where we get the, uh, get the temperature back up in the 190s on the coolant. And all it does is it takes the uh, oil that much higher, you know, before it cools. So, you know, whatever. I don't know. We'll uh, see which way it wants to go. Uh, go ahead and get the thermostat done and get the injectors done if it wants. And then uh, retest for the oil cooler or just go ahead and go in and do a thermostat right now. And then go back out and retest again for the oil cooler before we go in for injectors. You know, maybe that might be the route we need to go. 
I mean, 13 degrees is pushing it. It's, it means it's not extremely healthy. See, I'm going down the road right now. I'm rolling about 62. And we got steady 13. It bounces to 14 every now and then. So it's, it's borderline. I mean, I, I would suggest to replace it, get those back down and get a reset on it. Um, yeah. All right, hang on. All right, so we'll go ahead and end this. Uh, right now, it cooled back off. You know, that ain't bad. That's sitting here idling. So, I don't know. Borderline oil cooler. Brakes could use to be flushed. Uh, probably about ready for some pads, too, by the level of the brake fluid. Uh, a couple injectors, as many as actually possible. One was kind of shaky a little bit. Five, four, and what was it four and six I think were shot um, most of it I don't know other than that you know shit I don't know yeah just pretty basic pretty basic setup all right guys I'm gonna go ahead and end it basic injector diag is all it was injector and oil cooler need a thermostat throw a thermostat in I always put an upper rad hose too on the thermostat because uh, it just, yeah, I mean, it's like 20 bucks for the upper rat hose. So throw a new hose on a new thermostat and call it done. That way we know it ain't going to leak right there. All right. I think that's about it. I'll probably think of other stuff, but oh well. All right, guys, have a good day.